to the Royal Daily Tea YouTube channel. Please be advised all of my videos are for entertainment purposes only, based 100% on my own opinion, my own theories, and my own research. All of my information can be found on the public domain and falls under the fair use guidelines. Please feel free to do your own research. Hello and welcome back to the Royal Daily Tea. So we have a lot of breaking and juicy royal news to talk about today. So we're just going to get right into it. Now I am using a different microphone, so please let me know if you like the sound of this microphone. Now I am in a room with high ceilings, so there might be a little bit of an echo, but hopefully this will be a little bit clearer than some of my other recordings. Now, the first story we're going to talk about is many news outlets, including GMA, People Magazine, and the Daily Mail, have broke the story that Harry and Meghan had a secret meeting with Her Majesty the Queen and Charles and Camilla. Now, this could be very believable since they are en route to the Invictus Games in the Netherlands, and the Netherlands are very, very close to the UK. Now, supposedly, they're having a clear-the-air talk, and it's the first time that Meghan has appeared on UK soil in over two years since she left in March of 2020. Now, this is going to be very interesting, and I would love to be a fly on the wall. According to an insider, um, the Sussexes arrived incognito on Wednesday and are believed to have stayed at Frogmore Cottage. The couple were spotted walking by a coach of excited churchgoers arriving for the Royal Monday service. It does not appear that they have brought Archie and Lilibet. Now, there are rumors that they're meeting uh, to extend the olive branch with Charles and Camilla and the Queen, and that this could be a very important turning moment in the relationship between Harry, Meghan, and the royals. We know it's been a year since the infamous Oprah Winfrey interview where Harry and Meghan accused an unnamed royal family member of, quote, racist remarks. It has been a very damaging year for the royal family and for the relationship between Harry, Meghan, and the royals. I personally believe, like I stated in my previous video, that Harry is having royal regrets. He has received so much negative backlash since the Oprah Winfrey interview and since missing the Thanksgiving memorial service for his grandfather. Not to mention he is still currently embroiled in a lawsuit where he is suing the Home Office for the right to pay for the Metropolitan Police security. So it's very interesting that they could show up for a surprise private event without the security. Hmm, makes you wonder if it's actually needed. So, it, yeah, so I think this is going to be a coming to Jesus moment where they're pretty much laying down the law. I think Harry and Meghan are finally realizing the grass isn't always greener, you know, being a private civilian where you have to pay for everything yourself, it's getting to be quite expensive. And all of those lucrative multi-million dollar deals that they signed are not exactly turning out great. I think their deal with Spotify is very, very shaky and Netflix, if Invictus doesn't do well and if Pearl never gets taken off the ground, they're done. They're not making the $50 million that they said they're going to make. Netflix is having a problem all on their own. They're raising their prices. They have major competition between other streaming companies. They can't afford to pay people huge amounts of money if they're not producing huge shows that are ratings bonanzas for the network. Everyone is in a crunch right now. We're kind of in a recession. Gas is expensive, food is expensive, people aren't going to the movies, people are tired of paying for 20 different streaming services. It's a very competitive field. And Harry and Meghan are not exactly the most talented or popular people out there. The Invictus Games is only going to be successful because of the veterans. But they're even having a problem right now. They're not even sold out, guys. They haven't sold all of the tickets. So... 
again, Harry and Meghan are having a major PR crisis. Their entire brand was built around their titles and trashing their family. Well, those two things kind of contradict each other because if you keep trashing your family, you're going to lose your titles. And then you're just Harry and Meghan, right? You don't have much more to offer than that. So I think this coming to Jesus meeting to clear the air is a way for Harry and Meghan to grovel on their knees, to beg for forgiveness, to get it good with Granny. So they really need to make good now while Her Majesty is still there. And I feel so bad for the Queen because not only is she a monarch, she's a mother, she is a grandmother, she is a great grandmother, she has so much on her plate, but you can tell this past year, she has aged about 20 years. Ever since Philip passed away, she looks like a different person. Like I didn't even recognize her most recent photos. She looks so much older than she did when Philip was alive. And I'm not trying to be unkind. She looks like she's aged 20 years. She's had a very tough year. She's had COVID. She's lost her husband. Her children have had scandals. She's had her rogue grandson causing major problems for them. And I'm sure she's just trying to help the family heal and move on before she passes. I believe that is why she named Camilla the Queen Consort, to let people know her wishes. She brought Andrew with her to the Thanksgiving service, and apparently he's going to escort her to an event at the Jubilee. And now she's having a secret meeting with Harry, Meghan, Charles, and Camilla. In my opinion, she's trying to smooth things over to help prolong the longevity of the royal family because it's a mess. If that Oprah Winfrey interview never would have happened, I don't think the amount of hate that has been spewing around towards the royals would have happened. So Harry and Meghan did a lot of damage, and I think they know that, and I, I guarantee you they regret it because they're the ones facing the backlash. They're the ones who are a failure to launch. They're going broke. They're turning into a joke. They're the Sue Happy Sussexes. Don't forget, Meghan is still being sued by her sister, Megan was caught lying under oath, and then they didn't show up for the memorial service. So this secret meeting is a come to Jesus, let's clear the air, let's save our asses meeting. And who knows, guys, they might be at the Platinum Jubilee now. You know, I really do feel like this was an olive branch, but I, I guarantee you it's because Harry and Megan know their brands are suffering. Their brands are suffering, and without their titles, they're nothing. So if Her Majesty takes away the titles, it could happen because they're not popular in the UK. We also have the issue of Harry's book, his memoir that he's you know, publishing later this year. There is a rumor that it could possibly be delayed until next year. And I think it's going to be delayed because he has nothing to say. What in the world, what wisdom is he going to put upon us to shed did he tell the valet exactly what kind of chocolate he wanted on his pillow? Did he make sure he had the right kind of orange juice in the morning? What in the world are you, an ex-pampered prince, going to tell the common folk about life? To go outside and meditate and take a shit in the woods? To do the perfect warrior pose and avocado toast that your wife made for you? What are you going to tell the common folk that you've learned in your 37 years of life? You have nothing to talk about. The only thing he could talk about that would be interesting would be slamming his family. But if he continues to slam his family, he is one step closer to losing his titles and possibly being taken out of the line of succession. So he can't keep doing that. He's like a one-trick pony. They're having a crisis. Like I said, they're having backlash. They're not well-liked. They're turning into a laughingstock. Her podcast, people are already having a backlash on her podcast that hasn't even aired. It's going to be a problem. The Invictus games are not even sold out, guys. It's not even sold out. They're a failure to launch. And he was supposedly going to slam Camilla and Charles in his upcoming book. So if he's having this meeting with his 
you know, dad and Camilla and his grandmother, there's no way he can continue with that memoir and slam his family. So he's going to have to push it out till next year and come out with something. Maybe he can talk about his genetic pain of living in Montecito with Megan. That would be a bestseller. How to survive being married to a narcissist. How to identify the red flags of a narcissist. Red flag number one, the love bombing and the crazy eyes. Red flag number two, the separation of my entire family, friends, and country. Red flag number three, my favorite, the lobster claw. And if you're really lucky, you get a bonus number four, constant lying and manipulation. That would be a bestseller, Harry. I think we would all buy that. But Slam and Charles and Camilla and your family, you're literally putting the nails in your coffin. So this is a huge story. We don't have 100% confirmation, but I can see it possibly happening. Now, supposedly the royal aides behind the scenes were shocked because the queen doesn't do surprise visits. Everything with the royal family is scheduled. It's in the royal diary. And supposedly, you know, like I said, this might have been an emergency family meeting, kind of like they did two years ago with Meg's that they had an emergency meeting when Harry and Meghan, you know, blasted the royal family and said, see ya, we're out of here. Yeah, they had to have an emergency meeting. Remember that? Meg's it was a huge issue for them. So now they're having a, you know, begging on our knees. Can you help us, please? Can we come back? So I don't think they'll ever come back as working royals, but I think they're trying to save face. That's my opinion. It would make them look a whole lot better if they would stop with this nonsense of slamming the family. Now, the other big story circulating is that Harry and Meghan were denied security for them to bring their private security and their armed guards. But apparently the Netherlands is going to give them the top security, the you know private police protection that would be for royals. They're going to get that for the event because they're calling this a high profile event. So the king is going to be at the closing ceremony and they're not requiring Harry and Meghan to pay for the security. Now people were saying, oh, they're the internationally protected person. No, they're not. They're literally getting protection for this event only. I believe the Netherlands are providing the security strictly as a courtesy and as a precaution, because they want to cover their own butt. If something was to happen to Harry and Meghan, you know Harry and Meghan would just turn around and sue the Netherlands for not letting them bring their armed guards, just like they're suing the Home Office. He's literally suing his grandma and the government, guys. So what makes you think he wouldn't sue the Netherlands? So again, Harry and Meghan are getting the free security, triple dipping, off the backs of veterans, he's getting his free security, and now he's down on his knees, begging his granny for forgiveness in a secret come to Jesus meeting. So what do you guys think of Harry and Meghan in this super secret meeting that apparently is no longer a secret? What do you think? Do you think they're there asking for forgiveness? Do you think Her Majesty the Queen is ripping them a new one? And what do you think of the Invictus Games not being sold out and the Netherlands covering their police protection? Leave me your comments, guys, down below. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel. Make sure you check out the Royal Daily Tea website as well as all of my other social media accounts. Thank you and have an amazing day.